Super Meat Boy! Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in again. In case you haven't figured it out already, today we're playing Super Meat Boy. Now, there are a small handful of games that hold special personal significance to me, and one of those games is Super Meat Boy. Super Meat Boy was released on the Xbox 360 as a live arcade title in October of 2010, adapted from an earlier Flash game and later ported to various other systems. Now I remember buying it when it was released and instantly fell in love with it. I recognised the gameplay style as being similar to N+, another Xbox Live Arcade game that I'd previously enjoyed and fully completed, although Meat Boy was much more visually appealing by a long way. I put the time in on Super Meat Boy, playing it gave me incredible amounts of joy and my accomplishments in this game are among my proudest gaming achievements. There are only, I think, four levels out of the many hundreds in the game that I failed to beat within the a target time. And it's been a long time, over a decade since I've played this game, having got the achievement for 100% completion at the end of 2012, and I wonder, do I still have what it takes? Well, the answer to that is yes. I fired up this bad boy using a secondary game attack that has never seen any Meat Boy action and spent the next three and a half hours motoring my way through the main game in one sitting. I'm going to break down my recording of my game into multiple videos, one chapter at a time. This is the first of that series. I'll just point out as well that this game features a lot of collectibles in the form of band-aids or sticking plasters if you speak my language. Although I do go for a couple of those in my play, I'm not aiming to collect them all at this time. Many of them are impossible to get without unlocking different characters anyway. There are also some secret warp zones, which I'm also not going for right now. This playthrough is just about normal level completion, and if I can manage it, getting an A-plus grade for a fast time. You might see me occasionally replay a level after completion, which I do if I think I could easily get a faster time. I'd also like to draw your attention to the amazing sound design in this game. The pitter-patter of Meat Boy's feet as he runs along, the squelches as he hits walls and other surfaces, and of course the buzzing of saw wheels and other enemy effects. And of course I have to mention the incredible background music. The composition of the main theme throughout the chapter, combining electronic tones with orchestral sounds is a treat for the ears and never gets old. But best of all in this chapter is the music for the final boss level. This has a really nice rocky feel and successfully communicates the intensity of Meat Boy's situation as he tries to outrun the mech chasing him down. So listen out for that, it is some of the best music I have heard in a video game for a long time. But before we get started, I'd just like to take a moment to ask you to hit the like button if you enjoy this video, and leave a comment if you've played this game and tell me what you made of it, and please consider subscribing if you'd like to see more from me in the future. Anyway, here we go. So after leaving this game relatively untouched for over a decade, this is Chapter 1, The Forest in the Light World. Enjoy.